some time now, the nation has been caught in debates about the proposal to scrap the existing biometric voters register and associated technology infrastructure, which is enrollment and verification hardware and software and data center and databases, and procure a totally new infrastructure for the purpose of the 2020 elections. Needless to say, there has been disagreement from many quarters regarding this proposal. We, the coalition of major civil society organizations and key individuals under the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, GACC, are of the view that this is not and should not be a war of opinions among stakeholders with political clout. It is too important an issue to leave to just the politicians. This is a controversy over plain facts and values which can be resolved by a transparent and sincere evaluation of the data and the evidence. Most of it relates to information technology, over which the EC as a body has no inherent expertise, but which IT experts, including those in the EC, can understand and agree on. We and our IT experts have thoroughly examined the Electoral Commission submissions and found them, unfortunately, quite defective and unconvincing. Consequently, we make this statement representing the views of the undersigned for the record. One, there are a number of issues. One issue is whether Ghana needs a completely new biometric voter management system, BVMS, an end-to-end -end infrastructure comprising hardware, software, data centers, databases, and fresh mass enrollment of voters. The second issue is whether if the country does not require such brand new infrastructure, a new mass registration and enrollment of voters is required. Whether the law empowers the Electoral Commission to solely determine when to procure a totally new system. Whether the present circumstances, whether under the present circumstances the Electoral Commission's current procurement plan for such a system is honest and defensible. Our position is that we, the undersigned, submit the following observations and guided conclusions based on the known facts and consultation with experts. Highlights. The EC has focused on technical issues such as the major motivation for, as the major motivation for a new voter's register. The Commission has mentioned the vulnerability of current systems and equipment. However, it appears that this position has been reached based on the advice mostly of the existing vendors whom the EC itself has discredited in various pronouncements. Similarly, the procurement cost assessments have also come from that single source, the existing vendors. The EC places a lot of emphasis on STL, that is the vendor, STL's purported correspondence about the cost of refurbishment and fresh procurement. For instance, the EC says the STL have offered BVRs biometric voter registration equipment for $5,145, brand new or $3,500 refurbished, and BVDs for $917, brand new, and $244 refurbished. The EC should be canvassing the market for the cost of these equipment and investigating the possibility of an open source central software application such as other countries in the sub-region have done, example Nigeria. <laughs>